the Mystery Tackle Box YouTube channel. My name is Becca. I make content over on Fishing with Becca. If you guys want to go check out my channel, it'll be linked down below. But today, I'm going to be filming a video for you guys on this channel. So today, I'm going to be taking my Mystery Tackle Box and we're going to be doing the Roulette Wheel Fishing Challenge. What the Roulette Wheel Fishing Challenge entails is basically there's a roulette wheel. I'm going to be putting every single bait in the Mystery Tackle Box on that wheel. We're going to be spinning the wheel and whatever it lands on is what we have to fish. So. That is what's going to happen in today's video. I'm going to get everything rigged up and I'm going to be spinning the wheel and when it lands on something we have to fish with it and we're going to see if we complete every single bait on the wheel. So it's going to be, we got some traffic. It's going to be an MTV slam but with a little bit of a twist. So we can't pick and choose what bait we start with and it's going to make it a little bit more challenging. Thank you guys so much for letting me take over the channel for the day. Let's see what we can make happen. All right, so this top water is kind of like a whopper plopper slash prop bait mix. It's a soft plastic tail. It also comes with two tails, so if something happens to this one, you can replace it so you don't have to completely trash this bait if something happens to it, which is awesome because uh, things definitely happen like that. <laughs> two sets trebles, should be able to stick some fish. We'll see what we can make happen this morning, but starting off with top water is always a good thing. Not exactly a great thing on fluoro, but hey, we're going to make it happen. Oh, this thing looks really, really good in the water. Even on fluoro, this thing is moving just absolutely incredible. Holy moly, this thing looks so good. This is going straight into my topwater box when I get home. This thing is sick. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't stick him either. Oh, he missed it. Oh my God, he missed it. Did you guys see that? Okay. Come back for it. Oh my god. I didn't even, I wasn't paying attention and I didn't even set the hook. Oh, that sucked. Okay. It's okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. My, is my drag that loose? Jesus. <laughs> that was bad. Come here. All right. That is a really good fish. Holy crap, that's a really good fish. Ugh. There we go. First fish of the day. Okay, just got the hook out, top water, done. That is a nice freaking bass, to say the least. Okay, buddy. There he goes. All right, spin the wheel. That's the name of the game today. Can't pick and choose as much as I know I totally would pick a certain bait right now, but you know, can't. All right, here we go. Oh, should probably take the top water off so we don't get that again. Spin the wheel. <laughs> okay, that's definitely not the bait I was thinking, but that's okay, we're gonna roll with it. I don't know how much confidence I have throwing this thing, if I'm being completely honest, but we're going to see what we can make happen with it. All right, here we go. We got this <laughs> very interesting crawl rigged up right now. I actually think this thing is going to get hammered. Once it came out of the package, it looked a lot better, a lot more appealing. I'm thinking you just work it like a jig. You could definitely swim this thing and make it look really good, though. Yeah, it looks really good being swummed in, too. So we can probably just switch up our retrieve. Oh my God, he ripped off the crawl. He ripped off the crawl. No. We, we, no. There we go. There we go. Yes. Same exact spot that we caught our topwater fish. Didn't even move. Buddy ate it with a one 
craw in his mouth. <laughs> That's so sick. That is so sick. Wow, good hooks on this thing too. Okay, definitely a lot smaller than my last one, but we're not looking for size per se, but I know there's really big ones in here that we can totally end up catching. All right, so let's get rid of the craw. We got two baits left. Can't pick and choose. The wheel chooses it for us. Let's see. Oh my God, look, I spelt fish wrong. I was typing so fast. Okay, so that is like that soft plastic bait this thing right here and i actually let me check okay let's do this um do you work this like a fluke or a bottom bait it says it's a creature bait is what it says so this sounds crazy but i'm gonna take this off this head i'm gonna put this on it i'm gonna swim it and hop it this is definitely not gonna get hit but <laughs> I'm feeling it. Swim it. Maybe like pop, pop, pop. You know what I'm saying? This looks insanely dumb. How dumb does this look? Oh my God, it looks amazing. <laughs> no way, no way. This actually looks really good. When I like pop it like that, it looks so good. All right, this ain't working. I'm putting a Texas rig on. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Finally. We have been struggling with this bait. It's actually a really good one too. That is a chunk. Oh my God, that's a football. That's a New England freaking brute. Oh my goodness. That is a big bass. <laughs> wow. I mean, if I don't catch a fish for as long as I did and it meant catching a fish like this, I'm okay with it. Okay, one last bait left. This is a good feeling. We were doing pretty solid. Let's see if we can get a nice release on this guy. He's a little feisty. Nice little drop down. There he goes, it was a pretty decent release. Okay, we are on to our final bait, which is the Yozuri jerk bait. A little concerning because I'm, be because I'm gonna be throwing a jerk bait on 20 pound test because that's what I have on this rod. Well, rod and reel combo, so this should be interesting. <laughs> I throw jerk baits all the time over on my channel. Um, I think every video I've ever posted on YouTube, or almost all of them, has been with a jerk bait. So I love throwing jerk baits, and I know for a fact it's going to be a little bit hard on uh, 20 pound test. So we'll see how this goes. One more bait left. You got a fish on all of them so far? Yeah. What's, what's your last one? Jerk bait. Everyone just knows I like to throw jerk bait, so this should be easy. Oh, I'm on. Oh, oh no. You just lose your jerk bait? I'm on the rope. You mean a swim? Uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> I, got, I got snagged on the rope because there's a rope that goes all the way across the pond. This man's crazy. Reel me in. You're the man. Uh, it's so gross, this water. <laughs> you guys want some golf balls? I don't want some golf balls. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have no excuse not to uh, get a fish on this bait after all that. <laughs> I, I have to, but I need to stay away from the rope. Wow, this jerk bait looks incredible in the water too. Looks so good. Oh, yes. 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 He's running right at me. He's running right at me. Oh, he's so small. And that is how you end off an MTB slam. <laughs> With the smallest fish of the day. He's so cute. Buddy, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? MTB Slam, Roulette Wheel Challenge, all the above. Thank you. <laughs> He's so cute. See you later, buddy.
All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. We absolutely killed it, caught fish in every single one. Thank you so much to Todd for going to go get my bait. Otherwise, this video would have not worked out and the roulette wheel would not have been completed because we would have lost the bait, even though I totally had more jerk baits on me because that's all I throw on my channel. But yeah, it wouldn't have been the same. So shout out to Mystery Tackle Box for letting me take over the channel for the day. If you want to check out my channel, I'll be linked down below, but I had a blast with you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves just as much as I did. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.